We have breaking news now this morning. We're going to take you straight to our reporter, Simon Boda. It's regarding the fugitives, Gino and Mark Stocko, that have been on the run now for eight years, but at the centre of a very intense manhunt for at least the last 12 days. I understand Simon Boda joins us on the phone. Simon, are you there? Can, what can you tell us? Uh, Davina, I'm hoping you're seeing me in pictures. Um, I'm here in Wagga, but I can tell you that Gino and Mark Stocko, I believe, are now in custody at Dubbo. They've been arrested by Tactical Operation Unit Police. My information is that they have surrendered to heavily armed police in the Dubbo area and they will be taken to Dubbo Police Station where they're going to be interviewed obviously in relation to a series of offences including the attempted murder of police here at Wagga back on October the 16th. So the breaking news is that they are both now in custody and that manhunt is over, Davina. Simon, the concentration of the effort in the last 48 hours has really been around the Wagga area. Was it a surprise that we've seen uh, a move now to Dubbo and that's where police have had to move there this morning? Well, the police concentration has remained here in Dubbo, Davina, overnight and, in fact, up until literally about half an hour ago. The information I've got has only just come to me that these two are now in custody in Dubbo. I've got... I guess that it, it would have been obvious for people to assume that there would have been a number of areas of focus for the police in the manhunt simply because the Stockos have travelled from uh, Queensland through New South Wales. They've been in scene in Victoria. They're back in New South Wales. There's obviously a number of places where they felt comfortable where they could hide. Well, it looks like they can't hide any longer and they're now in custody. Simon, that was a big problem for police. Uh, the Stockos knew that farmland area very well. Uh, we heard in the last few days that there were genuine concerns from police about what might happen if it came to some sort of standoff involving the police and the Stockos. Are there any details at this stage about what has led to the arrest and that everyone is OK? Well, the information I literally just got before I came on air on a mobile phone is that they surrendered to the Tactical Operations Unit Police. So obviously the Tactical Police have been in that area looking for the Stockos, acting on intelligence. I guess that intelligence, they've, they've had intelligence since they were here in Wagga. We knew they were here uh, at least last Saturday, that they were in the Wagga area because they stole fuel at a Gundagai service station. They were also here, and this is where I guess the fear for the police emanated from, the fact that they were willing to open fire and in fact fired a high power rifle at police here in Wagga on October the 16th. So police have had real concerns that this would end in bloodshed. Thankfully it hasn't from what I understand and these two men are now in custody and they have surrendered so therefore there has been no, I assume, no exchange of gunfire. However, those details are yet to be confirmed. Simon Boda with that breaking news in Wagga this morning that fugitives Gino and Mark Stocko are now in custody of police. We will have more on that breaking news across the day. You can also follow developments on our website 9news.com.au. That is Nine's morning news for now. Amelia Adams will be here at 3pm with Nine News Now and I'll be back with the afternoon news at 4 o'clock. I'm Davina Smith. Thanks for your company. We'll see you soon.